Okay. How many times has this happened to you? You are going to do a brake job, like I do in so many of my videos, probably hundreds of them, if not thousands. Um, you try to take the rotor off the vehicle and the rotor is stuck. You get up underneath there with a hammer and you pound the daylights out of it. Can you get it off? Yeah, most of the time you can get it off. Sometimes you uh, do more damage to the backing plate. Sometimes you, you get it right off. Sometimes uh, you, know, you don't need to. Uh, I did show you another trick that I used to get rotors off the, uh, off the, uh, the vehicle. But I want to show you a tool that's made by a company called OTC. I'm sure all you guys know about OTC. And it's a tool, it's actually, this, this uh, part number is actually 6980. Uh, what this is, this is a tool to remove the brake rotor from the vehicle. Rotor or drum makes no difference. Um, you put it onto the vehicle, you can adjust the ends to, this, to accommodate the size of the, uh, of the uh, rotor or drum that you're working on. Uh, this goes around the, uh, uh, the rotor or the drum. It grips onto it, and then we take a, a strap like this, and we wrap it around the entire um, assembly itself to keep these jaws, because these jaws, as you see, these jaws do move a little bit. By putting it on there and putting that strap around it, it holds it tight so these jaws can't slip off. Let me give you an example. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the, uh, the actual papers that came with the tool in order to use it. It's showing it here as you're using it on the drum. Uh, I'm going to demo it on this, this car here. It doesn't have drums on it. It has rotors all the way around. But I will demo this, how it works uh, on the rotors. Uh, I did use it on the right front already. I'm going to use it now on the left front. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. Um, that's it. It's fairly easy. Normally I would get in there with a wrench and I would do it by hand and show you by hand exactly how to do it. I am going to use a, uh, an air gun. Hey, Tom. I am going to use an air gun on this one to, uh, to actually uh, shoot it off because it's a little bit easier for me using the air gun. But if you didn't have an air gun, you can do it with a, with a wrench, a one inch. You can use a socket, a breaker bar, whatever you have. All right, but uh, that's the unit. And uh, let's get up front. I'm going to show you how it works. And you're going to see two minutes this rotor is off, you're not breaking your coconuts, it comes off real easy. So, all right, let's get up there. I'm going to show you uh, how to proceed and get this, uh, this tool, how it functions, and would I, uh, would I recommend buying it? Absolutely. Um, I'm going to also put a link down in the bottom down here so you can take a look online and see what the tool looks like. It's really not that expensive, and if you use it one time, it's going to save you a bunch of headaches, and it's going to make the job go a lot easier. So, uh, all right, enough talking. Let's get up front. Let's get this, uh, this rotor off the car and uh, we're going to continue. Remember we talked about that, that tool? Okay, these rotors are pretty tight. You can get in here with a hammer and you could bang on the back of it. I also showed you that bolt trick where you can get in the back and you could tighten it up with a bolt. But I want to show you a tool that's made by OTC. Um, this is the, uh, the part number, it's uh, uh, 6980 you'd be amazed how this tool works. All right, so basically all you're going to do is you're going to take the tool. I used it on the other side already, so I'm just going to back this off right here. All right, put this on the lip on the back of the rotor there, and then we'll put it on the back of the rotor on this side as well. We're going to push it together just like this and then we're going to tighten this up just to get a little bit of a grip till it holds it in place so that stays just like that and we're going to take our band that came with the uh, with the tool that's not often you see me use a uh, a uh, impact gun but i'm going to use an impact gun on this one just because it's a little bit easier for me let me put this strap around it like this, and we're just going to pull it till it's snug, like this, click on the rotor, just like that, pull it till it's snug, and then just tighten it up, it doesn't have to be tight, it's just going to keep the jaws from popping open when we hit it with the air gun, now, we'll let that truck pass, 
Okay, now once you have this set up here, you have the, uh, the piece into the axle, the, the, the shank into the, uh, um, into the axle. We have it held on the back of the rotor here, and we have our strap around the outside like that. Next thing we're going to do, now, if you, don't, if you don't have an air gun, you can get on here with the wrench. I think this is a one inch, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to actually use the air gun because uh, it's a little more work for me doing it the other way. And I'm just trying to show you how this works. All right, put it on here like this. And now we're just going to shoot this with a little bit of air. And you'll watch how easy that pops right off. So we'll cover your ears. That's it, pops right off. So. To release it, you just pull on this, and we're just going to release the, the uh, tool. Okay, we're going to take this off. You just push in on the sides, pull it out, and you can take it right off. And then the rotor comes right off just like that. All right, so that's how the OTC uh, tool works to pull, the, uh, to pull the rotors off. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, you need to talk to me about anything, you send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. And by the way, I will put a link down the bottom for that tool for OTC, just in case you want to take a look at it online. Um, you don't use it a lot, but when this thing is rusted like that, it does save you from uh, breaking your coconuts. So, uh, all right, I'll put a link down the bottom and uh, let me know what you think. All right, as always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.